All right, we're out in the shop today. I just finished installing this on my garden tractor. My uh, President Lincoln 2 Plus. And even in the garage. <laughs> it's picking up stations pretty good, pretty well, even inside of my garage. All right, I'm going to bring you outside and give you a better look around on this thing, and we'll talk some more about it. CQ, CQ, 151, South Carolina, on the lawnmower, standing by. One nine seven zero nineteen seventy one five one South Carolina calling you. Copy that nineteen seventy. You're doing no five and seven, I believe it was over here in South Carolina. I'm sitting on my lawnmower. I put a Lincoln two plus on my lawnmower. Hey, nineteen seventy out there in Belgium. Hey, enjoy the DX and have a great day. You got one five one mower junkie in South Carolina. I'll be standing by. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate you following me on YouTube. This video will be going up there, so 1970. Hey, you'll be hearing yourself on YouTube. Copy that, 1970 in Belgium, hey, 73's to you also, have a great day. 151, South Carolina, sitting on my lawnmower and standing by. That was pretty good, we got Belgium. Stating a zero 05 England, walking from the west coast USA, trying from the west coast, listening on 445. Hey, 1305. Hey, Mark. I know you're looking for the West Coast, but 151. Moa Junkie on the lawnmower giving you a call. Who was that? Thank you. Was that, was that you, John? <laughs> Copy that, Mark. Yeah, you got Moa Junkie. You got John over here in South Carolina. I'm on my lawnmower, Mark. <laughs> hey, Lake, nice bad. Hey, nice to hear you, Jay. I'm not bothered who I am. Yeah, I'm not bothered who I talk to, John. Just heard one or two of those guys on the West Coast. So I tell you what. Copy that, yeah, I'm on the lawnmower. I got a Lincoln 2 Plus set up on the lawnmower, just the radio, and I've got a uh, a nice mobile antenna mounted right on the hood of it. Well, I'll tell you what, I hope you're doing a video, John, yeah? <laughs> I am, Mark, yeah, I'm recording right now, yeah, I got you on here. I heard you calling out on 42, and I just had to jump up here. <laughs> hey, copy that. Hey, it's my first time shooting DX on the lawnmower, too. So, hey, it's a first for both of us, Mark. <laughs> hey, I won't get too far with our, uh, with our John Deere ride. Obviously, it's got, I think, I think the bonnet's plastic on it. I think the bonnet's plastic on that one, John. Yeah, copy that. Yeah, a lot of those newer ones, they got those fiberglass hoods. Fortunately for me, I'm on an antique Sears. This thing is all steel and aluminum. There's hardly any plastic on this one. And uh, I got a pretty good match on it. Right now the radio is saying, oh, oh, it's jumping all over the place. Maybe that match isn't that good. <laughs> it's way up there. All right, Mark, I'm going to jump off here because it's uh, jumping up to four to one on me.
All right, Mark. Hey, thank you so much for the cue. So, hey, have yourself a great day. 1305, you got 151 saying 73s. Well, that was pretty good. We got Mark out there in England. All right, now that we got a little bit of DX on it, let me just show you around. Obviously, you saw already, it's a Lincoln 2 Plus. And I've got it set up on this, which I'm going to have to do a little bit of tuning because as we saw, that SWR was jumping way up there. Uh, we made it all the way to England, but the, uh, the SWR is a little concerning. So I'm going to have to retune that. I tuned it inside of my garage, so <laughs> yeah, it probably needs tuning. All right, well, let's see. We have the antenna bolted directly to the hood. We got the nylon spacer in there. And I just used a uh, a ring connector, clamped it right to my mini little coax here, and ran the uh, the ground shield over to that bolt. Let me see if I can get the hood open here. Well, we'll show you. It's not quite finished. I still got to add in some fuses, but oh, I can't get this hood open. I'm gonna have to pause you for a second so I can use both hands. All right, well, I just got this tractor up and going again. As you see, my temporary gas tank is still in it. And I just have the uh, the power wire connected directly to the battery. It goes up here, goes through a grommet in the hood. And we can see the bottom of the antenna is right there. Could actually connect the coax to it if I wanted to, but I have the radio connected directly to the antenna. That's it. The antenna looks pretty good on there, though. Let's get back a ways so we can see it. <laughs> it's a little distracting when driving, though. Watching that big coil bounce a little side to side while driving. And to all of you that say that you can't use the radio while mowing, you can. I can actually hear it. i got to turn it up all the way, but I can hear people just fine even while mowing. And from what I've been told, they hear me just fine too. They don't hear act they don't really hear much of the mower. I'll start this thing up and I'll show you. Hopefully the starter engages. It likes to go zing. See like that. Every other time. Oh, every time this time. Well, I think the high SWR may have been from the trees. I have the radio on FM right now, so we have full power output. And look at the SWR, 1.1. So I think it may have just been because of the trees. Either way, it was still making it to England. <laughs> it's a beast of an antenna. It's the same antenna I have in my car. <laughs> I got a pair of those when I got them. My buddy Gary gave me those. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> okay, I'm putting them to good use. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll get some more skip on the tractor. All right, see ya.